So today we're talking about the best contact lenses for astigmatism, and I'm talking ever. If that interests you, stick around. So today we're talking about what is the best daily contact lens for astigmatism, but before we get to it, I'm Joel Hayden. If we haven't met, welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness channel. If you happen to like what I have to say today, please do consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification to get notified when we upload new videos. So I thought that before we got into what the best contact lens for astigmatism is, we would do four things. We would talk about what it, what is astigmatism, and then I'm going to go over the three biggest reasons why people fall out of wearing contacts for astigmatism is what their problem is, and then we'll get to the best one out there. When a patient asks me, what is astigmatism? This is usually the answer I give them. We're talking about the cornea, which is the clear dome that rides over the pupil and the iris and is exactly where we put the contact lens. If I had a basketball in my hand and I cut it in half this way, threw the back out, maintained its shape, and the radius in every direction will be the same, a cornea shaped like that will have no astigmatism. Now, let's take that half a basketball and let's squeeze it this way so that it's flatter here and yet steeper here. That difference between the flattest part and the steepest part, which is invariably 90 degrees apart, is the amount of astigmatism. And it can be this way, it can be this way, it could be this way, it can be this way, and it can be a little bit, or it can be a lot. So that's what the astigmatism is. It's um, having two focal points on the cornea, and I could go into this more, and if I ever do a video on what is astigmatism, I'll stick it up there so you can see it. So that's what astigmatism is. Now let's get into the reasons why people have trouble wearing contact lenses for astigmatism. So let's say, again, that your cornea was shaped like that half basketball squeezed this way. And it's flatter here and steeper here. Well, if you can imagine that contact lens needs to be thinner here and thicker here. And that is going to cause some comfort issues, especially the more astigmatism that you have, the greater the difference, the thicker those edges will be at the top and the bottom in that case. The number one reason why people uh, have trouble with astigmatic contact lenses is comfort. Number two is the stability of the lens. So many times you have the contact lens in and you blink and it rocks a little bit and that's blur, clear, blur. And it's annoying and I've had that. It doesn't happen as much when the contacts are oriented horizontal or vertical but like this, like this, and like this. And many manufacturers won't even make a lens at a 50 degree angle because they know it's gonna be unstable. So they'll make us go to either 60 or 30 and then that just doesn't work well either. And those poor people really can't wear astigmatic contacts from that manufacturer. Then, so that's the second reason is that intermittent blur. The third reason is more of a constant blur because it's very difficult many times to match up a manufacturer's specs for a astigmatic contact lens exactly with the prescription, the, the eyeglass prescription, or the spectacle prescription that the patient has. So that can make it tough too. So those are some of the hurdles that we always have when we're trying to figure out what the best contact lens is. Speaking of best contact lens, let's get to it. Here's the top 10 list in 2020 of the astigmatic contact lenses. And these are all lenses I fit, I've been comfortable with, but again, all those problems can still occur. And the biggest one is comfort. I will reach on a patient with a pretty normal prescription every time for the most comfortable lens. And I gotta tell you, out of those, they're, they're not great. Many of them aren't. So if you had watched my video uh, in the last month on the best daily disposable contacts, 
you would have seen me say that the best daily disposable contacts were the Elcon Daily Total One, which is so good because their technology allows you allows them to make a lens that doesn't have as high a water content on the inside as it does near the eye, where it can almost get to 100%. But the Daily Total One doesn't come in a lens for astigmatism. They do a multifocal, they do a sphere, but they don't do the astigmatic lens. Well, a few years ago, Alcon came out with another lens called the Precision One. It was like the Daily Total One's little brother. It had a lot of the um, technology from the Daily Total One in it, and people have really liked it. For a day-to-day -day lens uh, for my patients, it's a go-to. They love it. If they're in most of these lenses, and I put them into the Precision One, which is the one I'm speaking of, people love it without having to spend the money for the Daily Total One. Well, here it is. The new Precision One for astigmatism. This thing is gonna change the industry. It is so comfortable, and it is so comfortable. I've worn it. I have astigmatism in both eyes. I find it to be very stable, but the comfort is amazing. So, I didn't wanna give you just my thoughts on it. I had my staff try it out. My staff wears astigmatic lenses. Every one of them said, this is gonna be a game changer. I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked what I had to say. If I did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing, and until next time, take care.